But it's no secret that eventually all of this rain will turn into snow, leaving you with the task of cleaning it up. And according to the staff here at Arnett Health, how you go about doing that matters. Every winter we have, you know, a decent amount of individuals who um, they, they tweak their back, uh, they hurt their back from being in uh, that bent over forward posture, shoveling, shoveling improperly, uh, or just for too long without a rest break. To limit stress on spinal muscles and joints and reduce pain after you've cleared the snow. You don't want rounding of your lower back. You don't want that, that rounding, that curvature of your lumbar spine. You want to stay away from that. Uh, it's only going to put stress and, and tension on the, the discs and some of the ligamentous structures back there. So I want to have that flat back. And if I'm shoveling, right, I'm shoveling, I'm going to maintain that flat back. But shoveling isn't the only way to get rid of those big piles of snow. Snow blowers make winter less taxing on the body, but that doesn't mean they're a safer option. Some of those injuries can be as severe as fractures or even amputations. The engine and muffler can become extremely hot, creating the risk for burns. If a burn is more than three inches, looks leathery, or has patches of black, brown, or white, health experts recommend emergency medical assistance. Otherwise, most burns, um, certainly you could probably just take care of at home, wash with soap and water, and, and dress it with a light dressing. If you need to clear out your snowblower, O'Connell says you shouldn't assume the snowblower is safe just because the engine is off, especially during wet, heavy snowfall. Whether it's the auger in front or the impeller in the chute, that tension is there because of the clog and the minute that clog is freed that might lurch forward and if you were using your hand that can grab your glove grab your finger if you're using your foot could grab your foot this blade can have a lot of tension on it and if there's a snow or rock or any kind of other obstruction that's in there and once that's released when that one spins that's the one that might tend to grab your hand no matter what you use tackling the snow gradually as it falls can make the job easier try to go move two or three inches of snow rather than wake up the next day with a foot and a half you know of, of heavy snow that you have to move so pacing your activity is a very very important thing don't be out there for an hour straight if you can you know chunk it up and maybe do 30 minutes or 20 minutes and Devin says going inside to warm up standing up straight and stretching can help you work through the next heavy snowfall for Arnett Health I'm Lexi Cutmore